The bald wakari, or bald-headed wakari, is native to the western Amazon, residing in the countries of Peru and Brazil, and possibly Colombia. Their rainforest habitat is in the Amazon River Basin, which often floods. Specifically, the bald wakari lives in Vazia forests, seasonal floodplain forests that are inundated by whitewater rivers in the Amazon biome. Flooding occurs most often in the rainy season. To avoid the high water, these comely New World monkeys live in the trees alongside small tributaries or lakes. The bald wakari is most easily recognized by its red face and bald head, from which it derives its name. Some people compare them to old men and babies because of their baldness. There is no denying this species is uniquely handsome. The striking crimson color is caused by blood flow beneath the skin, specifically a thinner epidermis coupled with a higher concentration of capillaries in the face. The redness of a female's face is correlated with her estrogen levels. The redness of a male's face is indirectly related to his testosterone levels, according to a recent study. A redder face indicates a healthier monkey, since their faces, like ours, grow pale when they are ill, particularly with malaria, which is rampant in their habitat. Another distinction that sets the bald wakari apart is its conspicuously short tail, which is only around 6 in 52 centimeters long. The bald wakari does not use its tail to travel through the trees, it relies on its arms and legs, as well as its long, furry fingers and toes. Their fur coats are long and cover the whole of their bodies, ranging in color from blonde to orange to brown to red. There are four recognized subspecies of bald wakari, distinguished by their variations in their coats. The subspecies with the palest coat is Kakajau calvus calvus, or the white bald-headed wakari, the red bald-headed wakari has a red coat, and is classified as Kakajau calvus rubicundus, the subspecies with a reddish gold coat, and a black tail is Kakajau calvus ukialii, and finally, Kakajau calvus nevasii is the most orange of the subspecies. The bald wakari is an herbivore. The mainstay of its diet is fruit, which they find by foraging. Their foraging habits sometimes lead them to eat leaves, seeds, or roots, whatever is readily available, even insects, such as caterpillars. The diet of the bald wakara varies with the seasons and is dependent on flooding. When water levels are high and the wakara keep to the trees, they rely on fruit for nourishment. During the dry season, they leave the trees to search for food on the ground, particularly seeds. Their strong jaws allow them to eat tough foods that other animals would be unable to open, like unripe fruit or Brazil nuts. Life can be very interesting within a troop of wakari. Troops are quite large, sometimes up to 100 monkeys, but more often around 30. The larger troop breaks down into smaller groups to go foraging for food, each subgroup being up to 10 monkeys. Sometimes they even go off on their own to search for food. Since their troops are often so large, they are very social and playful primates, especially the young. Female monkeys typically stay where they were born, alternatively, male monkeys do not stay with their natal groups. These monkeys mainly communicate acoustically, though on the whole they are pretty quiet. They will use shrieks as a method to defend their territory. Their hairless faces also allow them to be expressive and communicate emotions through their facial expressions. Additionally, these monkeys wag their short tails to communicate. Their hair can also stand, which can be used to indicate territorial defensiveness. For mating, females release scents to attract males. Bald wakaris are most commonly monogamous. Females reach sexual maturity at the age of three, earlier than males, who reach sexual maturity after six years. The average gestation period for a bald wakari is 182 days. The babies are nursed for as long as five months, and are provided for and protected by their mothers. The bald wakari is an herbivore, but relies so heavily on fruit for food that some might classify the species more specifically as a frugivore. Because they so often eat both ripe fruit and the seeds of fruit, 
The bald wakara plays an important role in seed dispersal, as do most frugivores. Monkeys are exceptionally important because they can transport seeds a greater distance than smaller animals. Fortunately for the bald wakari, efforts to save the rainforest will also benefit the species, along with the other animals who live in the same area. The Worldwide Wildlife Federation is a prominent voice fighting for the Amazon. Organizations like the Amazon Andes Conservation Program and IBAMA, the National Environmental Agency of Brazil, are cracking down on deforestation in the rainforests these monkeys call home.